Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you're having a blessed day in the Lord. Oh, come on, somebody. Give him glory. Give him honor. Hallelujah. Go ahead and press tag and share because I promise you this is something you don't want to miss. God has been heavy on me. I'm telling you, hallelujah. I'm so glad for fasting. Oh, come on, somebody. I feel the power of God. I've been feeling this since last night. Last night, we've been having Bible study. Last night, we've been preaching and teaching. Last night, we've been prophesying. I woke up prophesying. I've been prophesying all day. I've been preaching. Oh, hallelujah. I can't even holler talk because it get that good to you. Thank you, God, for fasting. My brothers and sisters, if you don't believe anything I say, fast, pray. I'm telling you, if you don't fast, you won't last. That's why a lot of people feel weak. That's why a lot of people feel weary. And I, I, I'm very transparent. I have forgotten how important it was to fast because when you're going through, sometimes you're like, okay, I, I just want some relief. So you'll eat, sleep, whatever it takes. Since this 40-day fast, I've been rebirthed. I'm going to say that again. Somebody write that in the comments. Every time God sends you on a fast, that's a rebirth. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And the enemy can't stand it because I'm going to tell you something. This is going to be a powerful life. They always are. God is doing something. And, and I'm telling you, right now, it's the season. That's why I want to do this before I get in because once I start flowing, I, I don't know where I'm going to go. Uh, I'm getting ready. Whew, I've been released again. Because I wasn't going to do it again. I'm going to be very honest. I was not doing prophetic classes again. Because I have been through a lot doing those classes. But God told me I don't have a choice. Because everybody's not doing it the right way. I'm not saying I'm the only prophet. But I do things protocol. Have I always been perfect? No. On a personal level? Heck no. But on a godly level, I teach this thing. I know how to do this thing. Only by God. And so I'm getting ready to do the prophetic class. Um, the Prophetic Advantage, we're going to be using Michelle McCain book, also the study book, and also, um, I don't have that when it's coming, Healing and Deliverance by John Eckhart. God wants me to do the classes, and I'm just going to tell you, per God, this is what he said, people are not teaching prophetic the way it should be taught. Everybody's, um, to be honest with you, they're playing a the game, a money game right now. And so God is calling me back. And all I can say is when he called you back, well, I never left. Let's just be honest. But when God actually said this to me, said, I need you to get, he said, you know what I need you to do? Get back in there and do it with all your heart, your mind, soul, and body so I don't play. I'm going to tell you right now, things going to be different during this class. I'm not taking nothing. Don't come with your books. Don't come. Don't sign up if you're not ready. I'm telling you right now because we're gone. We're gone. We're gone. And I'm, I am I feel the power of God. So let me also stick with a hand. So if you see my title, God, oh, the books just fell. If you see my title, God's people must stay untainted from the world. This is going to be a very important live that you're going to want to listen to again. God's been on me. God's been on me. I couldn't understand things, you guys. I have to be honest with you. I, I feel rebirth. I'm more anointed than ever. I'm not, I'm not glorifying myself. I'm not bragging. I feel different. I look different. I am different. And, and the enemy scared. Hallelujah. He scared you. He scared because guess what? Different levels, different, different devils. He scared because guess what? There's anointing on me that I have never felt before. Y'all ain't ready for me. Never. And be very afraid, enemy, because guess what? I'm going to do this thing all the way to the end so I can say I have fought the good fight and I have won. Hallelujah. So I ain't even playing. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because God says that so many of his people is getting tainted these days. So let me slow myself down so I can do this thing the way God is saying. So let me continue that, though. So if you want to take the class, you go to my uh, Apostle Dixon's website, Dixon. And actually, I'm sorry, Apostle Dixon at Yahoo.com. Go ahead and shoot me an email. If you cannot, because some people say they're being blocked, they do it all the time when it comes to these classes. All kind of stuff start popping off. I'm just going to be real with you. So go inbox me. Um, to sign up, you have to go through my website because I'm doing things correctly in a spirit of excellence. www. Excuse me, Apostle Dixon dot com apostle deanna dixon dot com i'm gonna say that again www dot apostle deanna dixon dot com i need you to understand who i am before i'm a chef before i'm a mother before i'm a sister before i'm anything i'm apostle deanna dixon and i don't get it twisted oh come on somebody hallelujah i give that my everything because that's who i really am you know um and that's just what god does when you have a calling and anointing it is not about us we're not that great come on somebody so let me go ahead and 
break this thing down the way God wants me to. The class is going to be for six weeks. We're starting on September 3rd from 7 o'clock. It's going to be on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7.30 to 8.30. It's going to be powerful. I feel the power of God. And, and I'm just being real. It, whew. All right. So let me um, hold on a minute. Do this thing. All right. So my scripture, foundation scripture is... Um, Second Corinthians six seventeen. That's my birthday month. Six seventeen. Okay, so he says, "Praise God." This is the word of God. Wherefore come from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. The reason why we're not seeing the full power of God is because people are touching the unclean thing. I'm not trying to be funny because I'm gonna put myself on front street. I didn't have power. Let me tell you something. You can get so tired. This world is a lot. Being a Christian is a lot. Sometimes you get oppressed, suppressed, depressed, all the presses. And I'm going here this morning because y'all need nothing but the truth. Sometimes you get so tired, you'll revert back to your old ways. I'm going here this morning. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You'll start back drinking. I've done it myself. I, I, I'm, I'm not a fake. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Y'all want fake? You'll go back to having sex. You'll go back to doing everything. Then you'll feel guilty because the spirit of God will convict you. And you'll be like, what, what, what's going on? I just need a break, God. I, 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 there's too much. I, I, I need to drink. I need to smoke a cigarette. You, oh, oh, I'm the only one that I've done that in the past. Y'all lying. Okay, so anyway. But when you pass those tests, you get tired. Because you realize right after you do all that, you still have that problem. You still have that situation. And now you went back and, and, and attained your anointing. That's what's happening. I had to learn that myself. You got to stand through that stuff. You got to cry through that stuff. You got to pray through that stuff. Sometimes you got to go through that stuff all by yourself. You ain't got nobody. The ones that you thought, they really ain't there. And the ones that's there where well, they got their own issues. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's what people are doing. I know for a fact right there in the pulpit. And I don't mean no harm. I've seen what they do. Some of them having sex. Some of them doing this. And then they get over here and they, oh, they want to preach and teach, especially on Facebook, because it's a fad now. You see, the, 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 this is um, lucrative. This It makes money. But I'm going to tell you, and y'all better tell everybody that, that you know doing it. Woe unto you, said the Lord. You have your reward. Do you understand that if you play with this gospel, which is the gospel of Jesus Christ, is death unto you spiritually and then maybe physically? Are you serious? You want money that bad? You, you, you want to be all that that bad? You want a lot of people that bad? You can't play with God's people. There will always be a backlash. And I'm not trying to be funny, but I need y'all to get this. And, and, and you can ask anybody. Because one thing about it, my life is, is, a, is a wide open book. Always have been looked like. Hallelujah. Everybody that's ever come against me, something bad happened to them. And hold on. I don't glorify that because now you're talking about witchcraft. So that's good for them. That's not of God. I, I fall, I, I get sad. I say, Lord, I tell God, please, I pray for him, God. You don't have to do that. Because when you really have a heart of God, you ain't trying to hurt nobody. Now, you want nobody to hurt you. And yes, it hurts when people do you wrong. But you're supposed to, that's why God, thank you, Lord. He says, vengeance is mine, said the Lord. Come on, somebody. You ain't supposed to be wishing that. And God say, I'll turn it on you if you rejoice. You're not supposed to rejoice in people. But I'm saying all that to say, be mindful how you operate. This is real. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So let's go. God said the people are in the pulpit and on here. That, that's a curse, you guys. You cannot preach one thing and do another. And that's what they're doing. Just like that girl. And I'm calling out people name again. So you already know what time it is. You get mad, go to God. I remember that girl, um, Shakara, Ashara, the one that have all the gold, had the, had the, y'all, y'all was sending her so much money. Ain't nobody hating. I'm trying to tell you what God said. I don't care what you said. You can tag her in it. I don't care. What? Y'all know I'm real about it. Go to God. This girl, and y'all was doing it. Y'all was sending her money like that. She had made a beauty shop. They was drinking wine. She had put all goals in her mouth, and y'all just loved to have it. So that's a mockery before God. That girl ain't got no power. Oh, I'm going here. Y'all going to get mad. Marcus Rogers. Marcus Rogers is not called by God. I know y'all going to like, don't like me, and I know you think whatever. You can think I'm hating. Hey, you know what? That man ain't got no power. He has to give the gap. Now, do he love the Lord? Yes. But is he called? No. Y'all don't like me, huh? Tag him in it too. I don't care. Because when I get before God, I can honestly say, God, I told what you said to say. Whether y'all believe me or not, I'm not afraid. I ain't scared. And when you have God, you ain't scared. 
Sorry. And I, and I, hold on. Let me clarify. I love everybody. I love Marcus. I love that. I love, we're supposed to love our brothers. But when you in error, you in error. And that's why they didn't like the apostles. That's why they didn't like John the Baptist because we told everybody like it was. You are in error. Yeah, they hate whatever. You are in error, thus said the Lord. Stop pimping God's people. Y'all ain't ready for me. Well, I'm on one today. Come for me. Come for me because I ain't even got to fight you. The spirit of God to get you. And I ain't even doing no hoodoo voodoo you knew. Y'all, y'all done lost y'all mind because ain't nobody saying nothing. Because uh, I don't want to say nothing. Y'all see it. That's one thing I've learned, even when I was unsaved, that people see the truth. It's just that everybody don't want to confront the truth because they're scared. And you can't stand tall if you're doing wrong yourself because Satan can't cuss out Satan. But if you're pure and you got God in you and out you and around you, you will stand up in anybody's face and say, that is not of God. Hallelujah. Nobody playing. Playtime over. Been over. You don't see people dying out here without God. And the ones that's supposed to be about God's business, about that money. See, and that's the spirit of lust. That's why God told me this morning. He said, Deanna, I need you to get up there and say that they are touching the unclean thing. I don't touch the unclean thing. You know how I many men they sent one yesterday at me? Because I had had, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not fronting. I had a bad day yesterday. Three things happened that I was not expecting. I was not, but I passed that test. Oh, yes, I cried. I'm, I'm very transparent. I cried. I cried. I was like, God, I don't understand this. He said, Deanna, it's a test. Pass it. And I passed that test. And right after the test, they sent that man. And I guess I was supposed to crown his shoulder. The devil's a lot. I told that warlock with how to get and where to go in the righteous way. I ain't cussing nobody out. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I don't play. Because I already know, and, and, and I'm going to start teaching right now. I used to teach my class, and I'm going to teach you, and I'm telling you, you better do this. This is of God. Every time I meet somebody, because see, this is a lie. This is a lie like a rug. People lie. I, I, have seen, I have seen some good ones. I mean, they so good, you look at them because you know they lying, but they be so good, you be like, dang, you should be an actor or an actress. You might, you might be one. Let me tell you something. You meet somebody, this is how you're supposed to say, God, who is this before me? Did you send them or did the devil send them? Show me their spirit. I don't want to hear your mouth because that could lie, like I say. Because the spirit of the devil, he's a liar. He's been a liar and his children are liars. So if you ask God to show you their spirit, spirits don't lie. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. I see who you are. Okay. Okay. Now the difference between some of y'all and me, I don't play. When I see you a witch in a warlock, I don't have no sympathy. The Bible says, suffer not a witch to live or a warlock. It don't say warlock, but it's the same contents. So the first thing I'm telling you is to get about my face, witch. Get about my face, warlock. Because guess what? I'm ready for war. I stay ready. See, the difference between the old Christians and the new Christians, y'all get ready. But a real Christian stay ready. I I'm not saying hateful. I'm not saying ugly. But we stay ready. What? What you want to do? How you want to do this? I see you. Stop playing, Samson. Stop playing, Samson. Stop playing, Samson. Say, God, y'all playing with Delilah. And what is Delilah? Whatever your Delilah is, you know what that is. Some of y'all lusting. Some of y'all in church having sex, doing all kind of stuff, and they want to preach God's word and teach God's word. You better repent, man of God. You better repent, woman of God. And yes, God said it. Hallelujah. And then you wonder why you got aches in your body. You wonder why you're going through stuff. This gospel is real. Hallelujah. So let me tell y'all what God say. A lot of it is coming in. This is what the enemy is saying. This and he do it to me. Oh, how can I get to her? What man can I say? Because he knows I'm single. You understand? He's gonna always try to attack. <coughs> Excuse me. He's gonna always try to attack you with what you desire the most. I desire a husband. That's why I'm not just jumping. Oh no, ain't nobody. I don't care how fine you is, honey. I don't care if you got a million dollars. I'm seeing did God send you? Nobody playing. So this is what the enemy doing. The enemy is looking at you. How can I get in? How can I taint him? How can I taint her? How can I make them fall? Who can I use? And I'm going to be honest with you. My mama used to always say something. That's, that's them plants calling. They do that all the time. So I'm going to turn this phone off. How about that? But let me tell you something. Mom, um, my mama used to always say, what's going on? They're going to always send things to try to taint you. But you have to be strong and you have to ask that question. A lot of you, can I tell you something? Everything's not from God. I had to learn that the hard way. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm going to teach this thing the way God said, teach it. Everything's not from God. And y'all are lie and say, oh, God did it. Do you know the devil give gifts? Do you know the devil send people? 
And that was the one of the things that happened yesterday. I had to really turn down the offer because it was not of God. Now, one of them I didn't turn down. One time it was turned down for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. And I didn't understand it. But then I, I remembered what God has for you is for you. Y'all ain't ready for me. And some of you, because you're so busy trying to get rich, you're so busy trying to show everybody, I'm blessed, I'm blessed and holy favored. Honey, just sit yourself down and wait on God because if it's true blessings, you ain't got to run after it. You ain't got to do tricks for it. You ain't got to lie for it. You ain't got to steal for it. And you ain't got to have sex for it. Yeah, I said it. You ain't got to do all that. God is never going to tell you to sin to win. I'm going to write that in the comments. God is not going to tell you to sin to win. The devil is a lie. If, if, if anything is a compromise, then it is not of God. Leave it on that table. All money ain't good money. And I, and, and I have left some stuff on the table. And people, oh, well, well, I don't want that. I don't know what's attached to that. Money's a covenant. Everything that we touch is a covenant. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. All right. So let me get back to the point. So everything that you eat and drink in this season, them people are doing all kind of stuff to tame us. They are, let me say something. I'm, and I'm I'm showing you secret to the kingdom. And remember who I am prophetic. So my videos are prophetic. I don't care who, it don't even matter. That's one thing y'all need to know. If you are prophetic, or you have any kind of gift. Don't worry about who received you. You just tell the message. I don't care. I'm just being real. I had to learn that. I'm not saying I don't care about you all. I'm saying whether you believe me or not, that's your business. All I'm supposed to do is deliver the message. Praise God. So this is what they do in Hollywood over all the TV shows, especially the video games. Y'all wonder why them kids? I remember when I was in California, they had the Grand Theft Auto. That's one of the ones that first came out. I saw that on a billboard, kill, kill, kill. Y'all ain't ready, huh? Y'all notice that's when them kids started. Let me tell you something. Here's what happens. They praying over stuff. And remember, I told y'all about entertainment. It's entering in and containment. Everything is a spirit. I don't know why we live in a world that don't understand that. Our, we have a church that don't understand that everything is a spirit. Everything is operating. It is operating out of God or the devil. It is a spirit. We live in a spirit world. The spirit world is more real than the physical world, but you just don't know it yet. It all depends how seasoned you are. That's why I said, those that worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth. Because if you don't know the spirit, then you will not receive the truth and know it. Come on, somebody. And that's what's happening. It's not that people don't love God. They don't have the spirit of God, so they, they can't see in the spirit. And if they can't hear in the spirit, if you don't have the spirit, you can't hear and see in the spirit. So I don't expect you to understand anyway. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So here's what they do. They wear them, them, them things. I really don't know what they they call you guys, but you know how you put them on, and it's like a um, it, it's a tire. You know they have the black hoods, the red hoods. Well, the ones black, those are the ones that worship. The ones in red, the ones that have the power. These are demon heads. All right, they're in a physical body, but they're demons in the inside. They pray over the movies. They pray over the video games. They pray over our food. Y'all don't. I'm telling you, pray over everything you eat and drink. I'm so serious. I pray to God y'all hear my spirit. I'm so serious. Pray over everything. I don't care. We're not trying to put you in fear, but we're trying to teach you. Oh, come on, somebody. Let me tell you something. You know what I'm trying to do? What God said to do, make you battle ready. Oh, come on, somebody. We got too many Christians that's not battle ready. Yeah, you ready, but you ain't battle ready. You too cute, honey. Oh, come on, somebody. And I'm not saying it's not nothing to be cute, because guess what? It's, not, it's all right, but it's a time and place for everything. We in a war. We're in a spiritual war, and y'all trying to go on vacations, and, 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 and I, like you got it going on, and people dying. Hmm, how is that? Come on, somebody, let me finish. It's time for us to start praying more. I'm so surprised, and I thank God that some of you are starting to give in shut-ins. We got to go back to prayer. That's your weapon. God said, prayer is your weapon. Oh, come on, somebody. Your worship is your worship. Say in the comments, your worship is your worship. I made that about years ago. Because God said, when you get in worship, then you win the war. Hallelujah. Because now, let me tell you something. I got to tell you what happened to me in church one time. And it happens every time you pray. So it happens to you too. Have you ever been in a setting to where I'm talking about you worshiping God? I mean, you could feel the power of God, tears coming out. One day I looked up, God said, look up. And I looked up and I said, number of angels. I mean, there were so many angels until all I could do is cry. And, and God said, that's what happened in every atmosphere. He said, before his presence come, the angels, they look around and they see, okay, 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 this is pure in here. They're worshiping, they're worshiping. In every church, I'm telling you, that's pure and worship good. God said, he, 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 he said, okay, they're worshiping. And then they make way for the king's presence to come. So they, so they, the atmosphere changes because they changes it. And then they invite the presence of God. That's how it happens, even in the car, even in your shower. 
The angels prepare the presence of God. Y'all understand what's happening here? Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And every church don't have that because most of y'all, y'all in protocol. Well, 8 o'clock, we got to do the announcements and got to go back to Holy Spirit running the show. Too many of y'all want control and flesh should not have glory. God says hallelujah to his name. Let me finish. I love Netflix too. But Netflix to me is a training ground. I'm going to say that again because I know that's the hottest thing on TV right now, Netflix. I got something to tell y'all about Netflix. Netflix is in with the devil. And let me tell you something. This is how you know it's the last days. And I want y'all to go back. Everything that I said, I want y'all to go back and check. I'm One or two of y'all. Go back and fact check this. It's fine with me. Let me tell you what's going on. This is what Netflix have on TV. That's how you know that the enemy knows that these are the last days. Wu Assassin. And sometimes God will tell me to look at these movies. What I do, I tell y'all how to do everything. I do because we in, we in the last days. I take my arrow even when I got up on here. I'm gonna I'm show y'all because y'all need to. It needs to be hands on from now. On. Okay, so put my arrow. Father God, I need you to cover my eyes in the name of Jesus. Now I don't put it in my eyes. Come on, you gotta use wisdom. That's that's oral. Or you, and I know y'all see it, okay? Father God, I ask you to cover my eyes in the name of Jesus with the blood of Jesus. Father God, now when I get before I get up on here, this is what I do. I say, God, cover my mouth. Let all your, your words come out in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because y'all don't need Deanna. Y'all need pure. And then I cover cover my head, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Now every morning I anoint my head. Every every morning, my head and my feet. Now Praise God. Now, uh, in the class, I'm going to show you some other secrets, just to be honest with you, because some of these things, that's another thing God said. The enemy knows our secrets. Y'all been on here. Where the phone at? Y'all record everything, even the intimate moments. Can I tell you something? Please, please, people of God, start recording everything. Everything's not for, for everybody here, even in church. So y'all can post it. Everything is, some things are secret. That's why he says, I'll show you the secret. And you wonder why y'all ain't getting no secrets. Because he can't trust you. You, you want to put everything on Facebook. So everybody can just scroll. Oh, come on. So let me get back to Netflix. And somebody write this down in the comments. All these, and I watched the World Assassin. It was good. I like the fighting because I'm a warrior. But I caught the spiritual demonicness. 